right. I'd like to get my introductory video of Misty, which I never realized I had actually done. So let's give you some history on this gal. This gal came to us um, about 12 years ago, 11, 12 years ago, as a young cat. And she um, was pretty crabby at that time, um, very opinionated, uh, very um, suspicious, uh, declawed in front. So these cats often when they've been declawed and then they go through a rescue experience of being abandoned by a family and stuff, they become pretty bitey and she sure was. She got adopted by a great lady who um, has had her all this time and now uh, we're looking at a 13 to 14 year old kitty. Took excellent care of her and loved her to the moon and back. One of our um, long-term wonderful volunteers who just passed away um, from cancer. And it was her last wish, you know, that, that above all that Misty be taken care of. She just, this was just the most important thing to her in her life was Misty and Misty's care after her uh, death. So here she is back at the center. Um, and a tricky cat to place, no doubt. So health is excellent, blood work is excellent, care over all these years has been excellent. Um, she doesn't really like other cats, so that makes it pretty tricky, uh, I realize that. She could be in a large home where she had an area to herself. Um, I think that would work. She, the other tricky part about her is she still has her moments of, um, of moodiness, crabbiness. Um, she's a really suspicious of hands and uh, I, I would say she still bites, I have to say that. Um, what we do here is we use a banana and we pet her with the banana. Um, so not using her hands, but, but something as a go-between, and she purrs, and she loves it, and head butts, and all is great. Um, she's fantastic in her litter box. She's never had a, a problem there. Does stand up to urinate, goes over the side, you just get a high-sided box, and that is solved. Uh, she's an easy eater, uh, at least for me. We've had her on a, um, a special diet, because she does tend towards constipation. We're happy to um, provide a bag of that food, actually fund, fund her food for the rest of her life as need be. I mean, that's just not a problem whatsoever. Um, she does like her wet food too here. Uh, she didn't have wet food over the last uh, couple of years, but here we are giving it to her, some fancy feast and stuff, and she's enjoying it. Um, she's fairly sedentary. Uh, so not super active. Um, she is, you know, she talks as you've heard. She's an opinionated, uh, strong-willed kitty. She loves here her Millie bed. Um, she loves her Seahawks. And uh, this is the other area that she hangs out in. So she's up here and stepped down at the center. She's got a nice room to herself and um, she can certainly hang out in this room as long as she absolutely needs to. But it sure would be nice if we could find a home for her um, for the years that she has left. Um, three years, four years, five years, hard to say. Her blood work is strong. Um, but she's going to take the right kind of a doctor and uh, you can hear her grumbling now because I've got Sunny D standing here who loves other cats looking at her adoringly and she's not she's not so hot on that idea. So that's Misty Blue and if we can find um, an adopter for her certainly no fees whatsoever we will take care of everything as needed for her and we'd love to be able to find a place for her to go home um, if possible.